Hello. Hello. Lewis, I I'm not well. I think I might have swine flus. I ate some corned beef yesterday, and I Stop. think I caught it from that. Stop. We'll start at the beginning. In the beginning, there was the Word, and the Word was God. And God made the Yogpod on the seventh day. Instead of resting on a Sunday, he took the time to record a Yogpod. I am God. That's what I'm saying. I, I'm God. Hi. Hello. I'm Zephos. You're, you're like Jesus. I'm listening. I'm sitting at the right hand of our Lord. You're listening to the yog part. You're sitting on my right hand, and I'm gently fingering your anus. <laughs> so I think I might have, I think what? I might have swine flu, Lewis. I'm not very well. What do you mean? I haven't been very well, and I think I might have caught the swine flu pandemic. What are the symptoms of swine flu? You don't feel well, and you start squealing like a pig. Right. The thing is, right, it's called swine flu. So you would think, okay, someone was working with pigs. The pigs were a bit ill. The the flu virus jumped from the pig to the person, and he started infecting other people. But that's not actually what happened at all. Mm -hmm. Because it, it has nothing to do with pigs at all. A pig has never had swine flu. So... Why it's called swine flu, I've no fucking idea. Right. So, is this like the new bird flu? What's it going to be next? Cat flu? Cat flu. Penguin Very flu? Very dangerous. Oh man, I'm feeling a bit flu. ill. I think I've caught flamingo flu. Well anyway, that's, that's, that's a bit of an odd start, but probably won't use any of that. Um, what? First off, right. We haven't mentioned Tina Barrett for a while, and we probably should do. Oh, just check that's what, a good thing. <laughs> to check how our well, I was talk, I was thinking about you know harnessing the power of our listeners, blah blah blah, getting them to like do stuff on the internet. Stalk Tina Barrett. Well, like scroll graffi graffiti on her front door saying Yogpod well, rules. <laughs> that okay. would be amazing if you could do that. That would be brilliant, but I'm sure that's illegal, and you shouldn't like incite people to do illegal activities. Uh, sorry, okay, don't do that. But it would be amazing if you didn't <laughs> do that. Don't do that. <laughs> no, don't, you can't do that. No, no. <laughs> what? What? I'm it's, not condoning it. It don't just, do if, it. If it really don't, don't do it, do it. Because don't it do it. But so if you do, great. If you do, it would be really cool. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Anyway, so people managed to post on her oh, MySpace, cool. uh, which was pretty cool. We enjoyed that, didn't we? Um, we did, yes. I gained a lot of enjoyment from this. One of the other things we were talking about was that um, I like entered a Blizzard D competition to uh, win a Frostmorn sword, um, and we were discussing what we were gonna, what 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 possibly would do with a replica Frostmorn, if you had one. Yeah, we recorded all of that audio, and then you lost it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, I mean, my my idea was pr pretty much just to to bury it in a local field and have, like, an old man find it with his metal detector, and then, like, video that and put it on the internet. And Honeydew's idea was to, like, have it in his... What was it? Have it in the top drawer of your desk and use it as, like, a... Um, Letter opener. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. That was all we could think of. We didn't come up with very good ideas, did we? Maybe our listeners have better ideas and they can, you know, send them in. What would you do with yes. a, a replica frost mold email, if you had one? Email Zephos, lewis at hotmail.com. I'm going to have to delete that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Contact us through our YouTube page. That's the best way to do it. Send me a message. On YouTube. Yogpod at yogpod.com. I don't know whether if that only would work. We had. No, I don't Probably think not, work. because we don't have that as an email address. Just send us a message through the YouTube page. If you can think send of Send us a message through Tina Barrett's MySpace or her front door. Stalked <laughs> in your own feces. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. Don't do that.
Don't, especially don't. I really don't do that. <laughs> Can you imagine that? If I has frost morn, it's smeared in shit on a door. <laughs> God. Oh, oh my God. God. I think we need to start again. Okay, we've done the warm up. Let's stay off of all things that are disgusting from <laughs> now on. Stop. Stop. Just stop. I'm stopping the recording. Okay. Hello, and welcome to Young's Cast. Hello, and welcome to the Yog. Hello. I'm Zephos. And I'm Honeydew. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Should we be called Lewis and Simon instead? Um, well, I don't know. You started it. You said I'm Zephos, when that isn't actually your name. You know, you're lying yeah. to our, our loyal listeners. Well, I don't know whether persona. I'm as much lying as I'm, I don't like the name Lewis. I'm not a big fan of it, so I tend not to use it. What what name do you you know do you prefer to use? Well, I don't know. Maybe I should maybe I should change my name. What else could I have? I wouldn't have something as weird as as Zephos. Obviously, that's a little bit too. Well, weird. you could do to to help promote the Yog Pod by by Depole. You could change your name legally to Zephos Yogpod. Wow. I mean, that would be pretty unique. Mr. Yogpod. Uh, hello, Mr. Yogpod. It would be like, oh, it would be awful, though. You'd get, like, letters through the mail, like, dear Mr. Yogpod, you know, your 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 interest rate on your bank account has gone down to 1.1%. It'd be like, oh. So... You'd have to sign. It's like, you know, <coughs> so please sign here, Mr. Yogpod. On your council Don't tax. you think that already, though? Oh. With Lewis. You know, oh, Mr. Lewis. Oh, no, not Lewis. Oh, awful. Oh. The fact is that I'm always going to be Lewis, regardless of whatever happens, you know, because even, like, famous people who change their names, like um, Elton John and people like this and Bono, everyone knows their real names. And they go, oh, yeah, he's really called, like... What is Bono's know, name? You don't know, do you? You're like, everybody knows, everybody yeah. knows Bono's name. <laughs> I, I do know, I do. Uh, I'm just going to cut that uh, out. I'm just going to cut that <laughs> Paul's out. I do know. Bullshit. His name's Paul, his name's Paul David Houston. Oh, of Houston. course. Of course. Paul David Houston. It is. Paul Houston. And, and Elton John, it's not his real name either. Reginald Dwight. Yeah, 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 I knew that. Um... So you need, like, a stage name. This is one of the ones that I, you know, if I obviously ever write novels and stuff, I Max will change Max Power. Name. Doesn't think a bit more catchy. So what would you change your name to if you... I don't know. ...if you were successful? In but a way? lot of authors are obviously changed to something, aren't they? Like, um... Dave Fuckface. Part of the problem is that there's a, there's a, um, a very, very famous sci-fi writer with um, a very, very similar surname to me. Why can't I say my surname? I suppose I could, but people would like... Yeah, people would find out where you live, and they would smear shit on your front door. (laughs) (laughs) I heart Yogpod. Okay, apparently the deed poll officers are in Freeborn's Court, Witham, Essex. I'm sure that's just up the road from you. Well, it probably is, yeah. You don't need to talk to a solicitor or anything. Apparently you can do it online, by phone, by post, or by going to the offices in person. It says you need to show it to all government departments, companies and organisations that hold your personal records, instructing them to change your name. You can also apply for a new passport, driving licence, checkbook, credit cards, etc. Do you see what I mean? It's such a lot of hassle, isn't it? Yeah, but I think you'd you'd have a really cool name. (sighs) Like what? Zephos Yogpod? I didn't even like the name Yogpod to begin with. <laughs> what? Damn. I came up with that. You're saying you don't like it. It's a bit late now, isn't it? It's done like <laughs> seven of the fucking things. Okay, you've got to have one forename and one one surname, at least. It has to be pronounceable. You can't just have a random jumble of letters. It can't be vulgar, offensive, blasphemous, or unsuitable. I'm not sure what unsuitable quite means. I guess it can't you be like can't... exclamation mark, colon, like at symbol, inverted commas, exclamation mark. Dave. Yeah, you can't have that. 
Dave exclamation mark. That would be my name. That would be your first name. <laughs> wow. No, my first name would be Dave, and my surname would be exclamation hyphen mark. So my full name would be Dave exclamation mark. Or Dave! Oh, I see. It would be like a double par- double barrel surname. Yeah. You have to shout your name, because it's Dave exclamation mark. Call me Dave! And what if it was like, what if you change your name to Dave question mark? Dave? Dave? <laughs> Every time anyone called you for anything, they'd have to use like that little sort of up sound at the end. Like, if imagine they were calling you for dinner or something. Dave, it's your dinner. Dave? 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 No, Dave? <laughs> no, 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 no. Imagine, uh, we, we need to think of a situation where you're not asking him a question, um, like... Hello, Dave. Hello, Dave? Yeah, see, I mean, it turns everything into a question, but, but it's not inappropriate at any time. We need to, like, make it sound what if there's a, What if there's a question mark at the end of the sentence, so you're saying, are you all right, Dave? Does the question mark cancel out the question mark in your name, like, two negatives make a positive? So would it be, no. you know... Hello, Dave. No, no. It wouldn't. no. Hello, Dave. A, a, a good example of this. Are you all right, be, imagine, Dave? Imagine your friend Dave. 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 Imagine your friend Dave. Uh, Dave. You said, you said so like we're going round to uh, Dave's house later. Uh, do you want to come? <laughs> it's even weirder if it's something like, "Have you seen Dave?" Recently, <laughs> confuse people about when the sentence actually ends. Oh, apparently, you can't use um a title in your name, so your first name can't be Lord. So I guess you can you call yourself something like Dave of like wherever he's from. Devon, Dave of Devon. Dave of Devon. Dave of Devon. <laughs> <laughs> well, that would have another question mark on it. What if you well, put Dave. a question mark on, on the Dave and the Of and the Devon? Dave of Devon? The thing is, Dave is Lord of Devon, and he has changed the name of Devon by deed poll to Devon? So what, if en- every time anyone was sending a letter to someone who lived in Devon, they'd have to put a question mark on the end of the word Devon? Yes. Oh my god. Fun names. Some people like the idea of having what we call a fun name. We have issued deed polls for fun names such as Jellyfish McSavaloy, Toasted Tea Cake, 1968, Hong Kong Fooey, Daddy Fantastic, 118 Taxi, Tingling, Huggy Bear, Donald Duck, Jojo Magic Space Monkey and James Bond. James Bond. And Dave? This is so weird. It's, ve- it's very shrill when you say Dave, by the way. The most unusual name was probably Daniel Westfallen. Okay, that was his original name, right? 27 year old from Hornchurch, Essex, who changed his name legally to. Happy Adjustable Spanners. Is Adjustable the middle name? Yes. Mr. Spanners. Happy Spanners. <laughs> Happy Spanners. That's such a nice name, isn't it? That's a good name. That's such a good name. Maybe you should change your name to something like that. I bet he was like... I bet he was like a really big, sort of, six and a half foot tall man with like, you know, slightly sort of closely cut hair on his sort of, you know, quite pale head. You know, quite a big fat man with a big round face and he worked in a garage people were like all right all right i'm happy spanners how's it going the ability to apply to change one's name from a computer or mobile phone at any time appears to have contributed indirectly to some of the more exotic name changes despite the 33 pound charge that's all it is 33 pounds and tom the haymaker Hayward, you like to come back to mine, 19, a student from Leicestershire. Sorry, what's his name? <laughs> N. Tom, the haymaker, Hayward, you like to come back to mine. Wow.
Hayward you like to come back to mind? Wow. Apparently his name was Tom Hayward, hence the Hayward you like to come back to mind. He is broadly happy with his changed circumstances, though it has led to at least one awkward encounter with the police after his house was robbed. The WPC gave me a strange look when I signed my name, he said. Happy Adjustable Spanners, 27. <laughs> oh, God. I want to hear what he has to say. He doesn't actually say anything. It just says that's... Oh, he changed his name under the influence of alcohol after a bet. <laughs> Happy Adjustable Spanners. Wow. Okay, this is this is a pretty good story about changing names, right? There's a really, really piss-poor football team called Lynham Athletic. So, in order to change their luck and to, to gain a bit of magic and mojo, every single member of the team changed their names. So they now have Ronaldinho, Ronaldo, Terry, Carragher, Gerard, Bruni, Henri. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What the hell? Lynham Athletic, what's it called? Lynham Athletic, yeah. Um, Wayne Rooney is the goalkeeper. Holy shit. So. <laughs> right. Do they look anything like their namesakes? No. No, not at all. No, that's not the point. They didn't... No, they don't, no. like, dress up and, like, wear makeup to look like... Why did Wayne Rooney change... Why did the goalkeeper change his name to Wayne Rooney? Instead because he of likes like Wayne Rooney. Or some decent goalkeeper. And nobody had picked it. <laughs> I who I would never <laughs> choose my I would never choose Wayne Rooney. Would you? I mean, if you had to like choose between Ronaldo, well, Ben White, you know, or like like Beckham, or someone like that, you know, yeah, I'll have I'll have that fat ginger guy who like sleeps with old women. Yeah, that's that's my favourite. Oh God! Shut up. It worker Thierry Henry, thirty nine. Formerly Darren Yeomans. <laughs> <laughs> Thierry Henry. He's not even black, is he? He is. Oh, yeah, dear. he is. Oh, so at least yeah. that, that was yeah. correct. Thank God for that. I mean, you know, it, they don't want to be oh, that Jesus weird. Christ. I mean, I have to draw the line somewhere. Exactly. You know, if you're going to, like, rename yourself as, like... Essien's you black know, as well. Canu or something. You know, you don't want to be, like, a bit balding white man, do you? Well, yeah, I mean, you say that, but Terry is bald. But he's called Terry, so it's not too bad. Um, John Terry. Yeah, John Terry he used to be called Ian Flat. Surely he didn't name himself just. Did he? Yeah, but he's now John Terry. Oh, oh, not in not in real life. Oh, you mean the thirty-nine-year-old bald guy who's pretending he... to be John Terry? Right? Well, I don't know if he's thirty-nine. I thought you were talking about the actual footballer no, John no, Terry. No, no. I was a bit confused. Gerard. Well, that's really good. That's pretty. Gerard cool. used to be called Connor Edgecombe. Connor Edgecombe. Hmm. It's a very English name. It's so weird, isn't it? Apparently, the the day after they changed their name, they played a football team called the Iron Horse, and they lost four one to them. Oh no! This is in the um. Why didn't they change the name of their football team to like? No, they know, can't. All Stars no, United they, or well, something. Well, they can't, you know, they can't piss around with the team name, but they can piss around with their own names. Apparently. Why can't they piss around with the team name? Wasn't there a team that renamed themselves to, like, um. You were telling me about this, remember? Um. To Manchester United. Account networking. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, yeah. Networking Solutions. Yeah, something. Total Network Solutions. I think they were from, are they from Swansea? I'm going to have to Google it to, to check and get all the facts right. Fuck the facts, we never really worry about that before. Um, oh no, no, it's um, oh god, I can see why they changed their fucking name. They've changed their name back now, but apparently the name of the football club is the New Saints of Ostrestry Town and Clan San Fred Football Club which is a mix of English and Welsh towns that have formed a football club. But they were originally called, just, you know, as their short name, The New Saints. So it was TNS, The New Saints. And in 1997, they won the Welsh club, uh, the Welsh Cup, which is like their version of the FA Cup. 
which meant that they qualified for the European Cup Winners' Cup, which is a big deal. And the local computer company called Total Network Solutions um, had a sponsorship deal with them for a quarter of a million pounds, which meant that they changed their name from the New Saints to Total Network Solutions. Uh. Amazing. So they were officially known as Total Network Solutions FC for 10 years. On the Sky Sports Football Show, Soccer Saturday, TNS's name is gently mocked by the programme's main presenter, Jeff Stelling. At the end of the day's classified check, if TNS have played and won at home, Stelling invariably uses the now famous catchphrase, they'll be dancing in the streets of Total Network Solutions tonight. Uh, A classic line. The two towns that make up the team are eight miles apart. Isn't that odd? But they're both such tiny towns that they needed two towns on either side of the fucking, you know, one in England and one in Wales to make a football team. It's quite nice though, unity. A rare example of harmony in our turbulent times. Okay, here we go. This is this is the brilliant name change thing, right? George Garrett, a nineteen year old lad. He changed his name online for just £10. I don't know whether they had a special offer on. Um, he said, I wanted to be unique, and I decided upon a theme of superheroes. So he has changed his name, legally, to Captain Fantastic, Faster Than Superman, Spider-Man, Batman, Wolverine, The Hulk, and The Flash combined. Wow. That is his name, legally. That's a brilliant name. Captain Fantastic, faster than Superman, Spider-Man, Batman, Wolverine, the Hulk, and the Flash combined. Holy shit. You could, like, add more to that. Then again, I'm a bit conspicuous. What? Why has he got Batman in there and Spider-Man? They're not exactly... He hasn't fun. even spelt Spider-Man properly. He hasn't got the hyphen in it. Spider-Man doesn't have a hyphen in it. What do you mean? Yes, it does. Spider-Man? Yeah. No one calls him that. No, everyone calls him that, because that's, no. his, that's his name, and that's how it's spelled. Just check it. It's not in the films. Yes, it is. Look at the films. The film Spider-Man, and Spider-Man 2 and Spider-Man 3. There was no hyphen. With a hyphen. Spider-Man. That's how you spell Spider-Man. Oh, shit. Yeah, see? See how fucking wrong you are. See how fucking wrong you are. Oh, my God. You're, I'm totally wrong. Wow, I've learned something today, although it is completely useless, as usual. The Amazing Spider-Man. That's what he's called. Captain Fantastic, Faster Than Superman, Spider-Man, Batman, Wolverine, The Hulk, and The Flash combined. That is a legendary name, my god. What would you call yourself if you had to have, like, a really ridiculous name? Jesus Nails. Oh, yeah, we've Jesus Nails, yeah, we knew that. That is a good one. My friend Andrew came up with that. God, what do you think it says on his credit cards? It can't say all of that, can it? Maybe it just says Captain Fantastic. But, in... Even that's, like, pretty good. In their fucking Names Allowed thing, they say that you can't have titles. So why why is he allowed Captain? I don't think you're probably allowed the Queen's titles and things. It's, yeah, it all comes down to the Queen, doesn't it? That fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it does in Britain, yeah. I wonder if they've got a similar thing in America, you know, with like... We could offer a prize, things. right? If one of our listeners legally changes their name to Dave Yogpod... Oh, no, 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 no. We will, have, we will feature let, them in, in an upcoming special Yogpod. They change oh, their name my God. to Dave... Exclamation mark Yogpod. We don't want to make people change their name <laughs> to this stupid stuff. Yes, we do. Uh, can you imagine? People would do it though. We get some complete nutter doing it. We brilliant. really wouldn't want them on the show. We, yes, we do. We they do. I mean, the kind of people who would. Oh dear. Dave. The show. Dave! Exclamation mark Yogpod. You know, people will be asking. You know, Dave! Exclamation mark Yogpod. Why did you change your name to that? Saying yes because I'm a fan of, of Simon and Lewis, Zephos and Honeydew, and their videos on YouTube and their yog pod. No, but I mean it's permanent. When you change your name, you have to go through all this rigmarole. 
and like you know change yeah. all your stuff over it's a lot of work and then can you imagine in like 10 years time when we've like you know <laughs> you've probably died of like you know eating too much or something and I'm like you know sort of still here playing WoW well on my own or whatever <laughs> I'm not bothering you anymore got, to make anything. You got like a framed dead. photograph no, of me miserable. next to your computer yeah. monitor that you wish yeah. you wish yeah. to yeah. look <laughs> look at, and you talk to it sometimes <laughs> from time to time. Yeah, and Dave Yogpod, he's sitting at home, <laughs> right, with his like wife, you know, Lucy Yogpod, <laughs> and his his young children, Christian and Lawrence Yogpod. You know, these two boys. And, you know, he's taking them off to school, you know, and they're like, Daddy, Daddy, you know, and, and you know, they they probably get called names or something at school, wouldn't they? Well, they'd be called Yogpod. they'd be called, you know, because obviously, like, Poddy. if your name's Lewis, you know, people call you Lewis Poois or whatever, don't they? Do they? Like, Simon, they call you... Simple Simon. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. What did they call you at school? Like, Simple Simon, Simon Lyman, like, with limes. What? I don't know. <laughs> That's a terrible Simon. nickname. Pyman. Simon the Pyman. Simon Pyman. There you go. It's that mostly works. simple, Simon. Yeah. Because I am simple. Simple, simple, Simon. Ah. Oh. Anyway, what would sort of you know? I mean, they they'd have problems with the, the surname Yorkpod. It's not a nice. Lewis Pooish. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. You should change your name I... to that. <laughs> so deep, I can't remember being change called that. But, I mean, I'm sure I was Pooish. when I was very young. <laughs> Infant school. Mr. Pooish, the doctor will see you now. <laughs> Lewis Pooish. <laughs> Mr. Pooish. <laughs> so we definitely, we definitely want someone to change their name. Oh, man. To Dave exclamation mark Yogpod. Like, can you imagine when he's like an old man as well? Or, or can you imagine like if his son was very, very clever, you know, did very well Christian, Christian Yogpod, he went to sort of Cambridge and, you know, in, in sort of 20 years time, he sort of became involved with the, you know, the Labour Party or whatever. And he like became Prime Minister. Can you imagine? Prime Minister Yogg. Wow. That would be incredible. I was thinking, you know, what if he got into the sciences and he became a physicist and he discovered a new type of radiation that, that causes cancer? Wow. So Yogg pod like... radiation. Yogpod rays. That is a brilliant idea. Wow, God! It there could, could be even like, be oh. there could be a mathematical constant named the Yogpod. It would be like a measurement of stuff, and then you know it would be like in Star Trek, there'd be sort of you know Spock would be looking into the, the view screen, and he'd be like going, "Sir, we're getting a reading of seven hundred Yogpods from that vessel." Oh wow! I think like, there should be. Oh. A... There should be a special name wow. for over 9,000 Yogpods. <laughs> over 9,000 Yogpods. Uh, a Yogpoo. A Yogpooess. A Yogpodplex. Wow. A Yogpod... Yogpodplex. That yeah. sounds like, um, like a complex of things. Like one of... Like a giant cinema that has a million screens. Yeah, like that'll be like in the future <laughs> when the Yogpod's like really, you know, famous. We'll build like a shopping centre and it'll be called the Yogpodplex. When and, all other uh, forms of entertainment have died out and all that's left is Yogpods. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> God help you if that ever happens, by the way. That's God terrible, help you. isn't it? What a terrible thought. It's a, it's a terrifying image. <laughs> all the work we'd have to do. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Nothing would ever get done. When are they going to invent, like, sexy robot women? Yeah, like... that's something we've been promised for a long time, <laughs> along with jetpacks. Yeah, where's my... Where's my fucking robot girlfriend? Where's my flying car? Where is... Where is my... all this shit? I mean, uh, it's the future! We have iPhones! You fucking scientists! God damn it. <laughs> oh, dear. What if the robots, though, they all have the same face? All robot girlfriends? And the face is... Um... Ulrika Johnson. 
they all look like Ulrika Johnson. Sorry, would, sorry. Would you Start still, again. What was you, the question? I was. Would you still have a robot girlfriend? What if was the really space? weird question? <laughs> would, <laughs> <laughs> would I still have a robot girlfriend if it's <laughs> fight if they, all of their faces were Ulrika Johnson? Wow. <laughs> Wow. You've got to use uh, that out of context. Use that out of context in the old pod. Because that is just mind-blowing. <laughs> How much do you think they'll be, you know, they'll be worth if you go into the... Uh, How much will they cost? The Apple Store, and they've got robotic women. The thing is, like, the early models are going to be quite chunky size. You know, because, like, you know, the first... I'm used to that, though. <laughs> the first... <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. The first iPods were like, you know, quite big. How big would they be though? Are we talking like the size of a house? That would be kind of cool though. If they were actually a house and you could like move into them. They got like a nice a nice bedroom, a nice lounge, a study area inside their giant robotic cavernous vagina. <laughs> My god, what? What? Why do I get the impression you're not you're not giving me 100% of your attention, Lewis. Sorry, I'm just finishing this quest up. Uh, yeah, it was my fault. I'm gonna stop now. Um, go rewind a little bit back in time. What were you trying to say to me? Wow, I mean that was that was very realistic. I think people would actually think that I had rewound you then. <laughs> When it's just me making funny noises. Wow. <laughs> it's incredible. Wasn't there a song where someone sang, like, the entire song backwards? And, like, when you play it backwards... Is it like... Was it like Motorhead or someone? Or Iron Maiden or something? Um, well, there's something called, um... Backmasking, I think it's called. Where there are hidden messages in music that are recorded backwards. So you play it backwards and you get the message forwards. So you get you get like messages from the devil. Thank mm-hmm. you, everybody. Kill your friends like that. <laughs> wow. Wow. Actually, I'm a bit worried of using that with our our weird fan base. Don't kill everyone. <laughs> I don't see why we have to give this disclaimer. <laughs> don't <laughs> smear your shit. Don't on Paris. <laughs> Front don't, door. Don't, <laughs> don't kill do that. <laughs> don't kill your friends, really. Don't. I mean, why, why are we having to cover ourselves with this stuff? Jesus. Oh, God. <laughs> also, our families aren't that weird. I don't think we, can, we should worry about that. Oh, man. Apparently, if you play Stairway to Heaven by Led Zeppelin backwards, it Roll sounds Paris like... come to your house. No, Led Zeppelin... Apparently, yeah, it says. Yeah, Paris did a famous cover of it, didn't he? It went right. to like number one. Listen to this. Stairway to Heaven, played backwards, the Led Zeppelin original, says, If there's a bustle in your hedgerow, don't be alarmed now. It's just a spring clean for the May Queen. Yes, there are two paths you can go by, but in the long run, there's still time to change the road you're on. But. That same part, people claim that they actually hear, Here's to my sweet Satan, the one whose little path would make me sad, whose power is Satan, he'll give those with him 666. There was a little tool shed where he made us suffer, sad Satan. Oh dear. I think this is one of those things where... It's pretty much a whole like you watch like a Russian... <laughs> dance move like song on YouTube and like you know they're all singing in some weird language and people have like put subtitles on it it was like a fad about two years ago there were loads of them all over the place um Adam no. and Joe did one didn't what? they where they, did they they put subtitles over some some um songs of praise episode um, oh right yeah uh, Woody Allen did that for a whole movie I think it was his first movie yeah it's been done for a long time it misheard lyrics or whatever uh, is that what it's called, or something like that? But I, I don't think we can, like, you know... And even if... Even if Led Zeppelin or whoever were, like, 
like saying, oh yes, we need to worship Satan, blah blah blah. It's total crap because none of this stuff exists. You know? Oh god, here we go. You're going on your fucking Dawkins deal with it. Fucking yeah. Oh god. I don't. Uh, I so don't see why people go there's over no, the top. There's of no that god. Ugh, there's no. It, you realise that you sound just as insane as like a, a fundamentalist. When you, you go on about this, there's no Jesus! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that! That's not what I do! <laughs> That's what you sound like, though! <laughs> like, a, like a crazed old yeah. man. You sound like some fucking nutter going on, there's no God! There's no point to anything! Go on! It makes you sound like a nutter. Thanks, man. Oh, You're dear. welcome, Lewis Puris. Um Did you just insult my mother? Yes. If you play yeah, if you play that backwards, it says <laughs> Lewis's mother has a cavernous <laughs> vagina. <laughs> wow. I would have thought the robots would have looked more like uh, Nicole Kidman, you know, from that film where she was a robot. Do you remember that? And they like took over. What was it called? What? Um, she was a robot. Yeah, that one wouldn't. It... Yeah, where she was like a robot housewife. Oh, the Stepford Wives. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've yeah, not yeah, seen yeah. the remake. I, w- I watched the original it's ages t- ago. It's, it's a disaster. It was quite good. The original was pretty funny. I was not supposed. I was to be thinking funny, we really. should have like a, uh, a a weekly feature in the Yogs cast where Virian reviews a film. Uh, because she seems to like always talk about films she's been watching. Um, so we could have like a weekly film review by Virian. And then we could ask her questions about the film and say, you know, is it worth going to see or not? And stuff like this. What do you think of that idea? I think it's a terrible idea. Right, okay. Well, let's, 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 let's go with it anyway. Since uh, I think it's a good idea. Sure. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> let's go for it. <laughs> Well, what else? Well, thing is, I was also thinking we should have like more, um, maybe like a segment each week of focusing on a little bit of chat with someone in the guild, like you know, talking about Yoey or Mandos or Sips or somewhere like that, you know? Oh, jeez. What? What's wrong with that idea? I don't see you coming up with any feature ideas. What we could do is, what we could have is we could have, we could have Virian. Virian doing film reviews, and we can talk to Yoey about, I don't know, the economy or something. The economy? Yes. <laughs> so we've got, a, we've got a section about film reviews, we've got a section about the economy. Um, Why don't we just get a sports we, section, you know, Miris can talk about football. No, he doesn't know anything about sports. You should have him talk about, you know, scientific discoveries. All right, something. great scientific instead discoveries. Of, Instead of, you know, instead of using, like, a, a scientific journalist or something, we should just use no, well, As if we know any of them. You know. Yeah. What would Lamadia talk about, though? What would Hannah talk about? But, no, relationships, like, and things what? like that, and girlfriends and things. She'd be the agony how to, how to get a girlfriend, yeah. She'd, like, sort out our listeners' problems. Yeah. If Okay. Yeah. If any, if any listeners, listeners got problems with girls, well, let's face it, you all want... have... <laughs> Well, just write in. Write in. You know, maybe you're banging too many and you don't know what to do. So if any of our listeners do have trouble with women and they want to hear from a woman how women think and what they can do to make themselves more desirable to a woman... Get into the mind of a woman. Into the mind of woman. That's what we could call the segment. Into the mind of right, woman. Right, do you want to do a jingle? Into the mind of woman. Into the mind. Right, I'll put... Into the mind of woman. Why there is that with a deep voice? <laughs> woman. Into of the mind. Into the mind of woman. Right, that's the jingle. There we go. Good. So and then we that. have Hannah. Hannah we'll do that next about, week. You know, Oh, women, women like things like butterflies and strawberries and pink things and lace 
and and cushions. Hope this helps. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That's our segment. That is a yep. pretty standard uh, female, you know, exclamation. Tee hee. Good. Well, we'll do that next week. Any other ideas for features? So we got into the mind of woman. Um. Um. Yeah. Yogi's, just Yogi's some... economy segment. Why is yeah. Yogi going to talk about the economy? <laughs> because he he works with an awful lot of money. He does. It be... He knows he knows what to do with his money. Yeah, exactly. He he goes clothes we'll shopping talk to Yogi about, about four what times to do with a week. His money. That's what okay. he says. He buys new new clothes four times a week. The guy's loaded. So what shall we call that? What shall we call that segment? Yogi's economy. Um. Yeah. Hmm. The Yohi Mitsu Report, something like that. Economy Mitsu, Economy Mitsu, Economy Mitsu, Economy Mitsu, Economy Mitsu. And we can have a very short With snippet Yohi. of money by a uh, Pink Floyd. Dun 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 dun, 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 oh. dun. And that's all we can use legally. I was thinking of bit. money, money. That's not the right song, is it either? Gimme, 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 gimme. a man yeah. after midnight. No. Yo, he could no. cover that as well, to be honest. Um. All right. Sorry. What's the Pink Floyd song? Dun 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 dun. And it's got like jingling of cash registers and all that at the start. You must know this. Yeah, exactly. Economitsu. Economitsu with Yoi. Yoi Mitsu. Good. Right, that's that one sorted out. Okay. That's two features we can do next week. We've got film reviews by Virian. film review. Yeah. We've got to make this sound as girly like a, a, as possible. I was thinking of doing like a Harry Hill style. Virian's film review of the week. I think like it's that. gotta be no, it's gotta be something dainty and ladylike. Um, no, but she doesn't necessarily watch dainty films. She was talking about, about Alien vs Predator the other day. Well, that would be good. That would be, you know, the the change of gears between the styles of the jingle right, and the actual right. content would, would actually be, be quite funny. Um, Love is like a butterfly. This is Virian's film review. <laughs> wow. Okay, I'll I'll copy and paste that one. We'll use that. Wow, we've come up with some really good ideas here, man. We've got like an almost got a plan for once. What about letters or or you know um, correspondence with our listeners? Um, letters from the listeners. Um, Yog yes. Podettes or something like that. Yog, what could we call our listeners? Yog Podettes. Is that what we're going to call them? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. What's wrong with that? That's awful. Yog pod ears. Like Yog rocket pod ears. Yog pod ear. Yog, Yog pod. Pod. No, maybe maybe it's like the a, a, a pod pod like an astronaut, like a pod naught. Yog naught. The Yog naughts. The Yog naught. What's wrong with that? Yeah, can we use that? Um sure, let's go with that. The Yog naughts. <laughs> okay. So letters from the Yog naught. Uh <laughs> It's letters, letters from, from the Yognauts, Nauts, 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 Nauts. All right, well, you're in charge of jingles, so that's very good. Okay, well, I mean, I'm not sure we're going to use all of these features every week, but uh, we'll certainly endeavour to do so. Uh, so that's what you've got to look forward to. The future of the Yogpod. I hope that listeners realise that we're probably not going to use any of this, <laughs> any of these ideas, and that next, yeah. the next Yogpod will just be the usual shit, and will not contain any <laughs> new features whatsoever, because we couldn't <laughs> so be asked So don't get your hopes do up. It. Yeah, don't. Yeah. We don't want to set you up for a fall here, so don't, no, don't get too excited. How many listeners oh. do we actually have? Is it something like 700 or something? Was that our, our it's numbers? something like that, yeah. Yeah, it's about oh, 700, I think. We've got 2,000 so, subscribers. Why, why don't they all listen to the Yogpod? A lot of them can't figure out how to use iTunes and stuff. It's quite complicated. <sighs> ah, I'm a Yogpod listener! I don't know how to iTunes! A Yognaut! Use it! <laughs> I'm a Yognaut! <laughs> and I don't know how to use the iPhone! 
iTunes. iTunes. How how do you make <laughs> subscription? How do you work? I don't understand. Hello. I'm a yognaut. I'm a yognaut. Hello. What's your name? How my are name, you as well? My name is um it's Dave exclamation mark yognaut. I fucked okay. up. Okay. I fucked up in the deep hole. It's okay. <laughs> that that can happen a lot, you know, because if your your spelling or your handwriting is not very good, you know, you can end up with a different name than you picked. It's my um, brain. My brain isn't good. It's not my writing. It's my brain. Okay, s sir. Dave. Dave. Dave! Um, exclamation mark. Yognaut. Uh, Mr. Yognaut, it's very nice to speak with you. Do Call you, me Dave. Uh, how? How old are you? I'm 47 and a half years old. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's exactly how old you sound. I didn't know you were still counting in halves when you were that old, though. So, you know, typically you you, you you tend to only, you know, use numbers in the halves when you're about nine. How old are you, dear, darling? Oh, I'm nine and a half. Right, okay. You know, it's like, uh, but you kind of, you know, you don't, and then it actually, it makes a comeback when you're very, very old, doesn't it? Like old people, you say, oh, how old are you, dear? And she says, oh, I'm 97 and a half years old. Oh, my God. I love that voice. I love that voice. That's wonderful. My old woman voice. <coughs> Hello. I love your old... Oh, my, my God. My granny voice. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? This is Dave. Hello. Hello. This is Maureen. Hello, Maureen. It's good to hear from you. It's good to hear you from you too, Maureen. Where, do you know where Lewis is? Would you like to come round for a cup of tea? A cup of tea? Have you, have you got any digestive biscuits? Yeah. I like me digestive biscuits. Of course I have. Plenty. <laughs> I, uh, have, I you, <laughs> have you listened to the latest uh, Yogpod, Maureen? Oh, yes. I can get it on the wireless. On the wireless? Have you got a wireless network? A, a wireless router, Maureen? Yes. Uh, iTunes. iTunes. My grandson set it up. His name's Louis Puis. He's got a lovely girlfriend. Looks rather like Ulrika Johnson. Oh, she's oh oh she's a lovely woman, Ulrika Johnson. She's a. What happened to my voice there? What was that? What was that? Ulrika Johnson. I can hear your chin yeah. wobbling when you talk. I have to do that to do the voice, though. You have to move your mouth in such a weird way. Ulrika Johnson. <laughs> Wow. Well, Let's just give okay. up on that. Just give up. I don't know what we've done. I don't know. What what I, we've I've done no here. idea. That's a new feature uh, for the Yog Pods. Stupid voices of the week. Old people chat. Old people chat. Oh, bloody hell, Maureen. Me, me hips are giving me such terrible jip. You seem to have aged about ten years since we last spoke as well. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you, I'm, you just, I'm 47 and a half years you old. Sound like I've turned into of... the fucking the storm giant guy. <laughs> Did you? Oh my. Yeah, the constipated oh, old man. You started off as sort of you know a builder or a plumber or someone who comes around to like mend you know something like sewage leaking out of your tap or whatever. <laughs> oh god, can what you imagine fuck? if that started happening? Oh, that's horrible. You're like washing your face. Oh God! <laughs> you know you've like you've just got out of the shower and you're like you know you're blinking a little bit in the sort of you know and you haven't got your glasses on and you're like a bit thirsty so you turn the tap on. It's like oh just take a nice nice mouth. Oh, this this water's a bit warm. Oh no! Why would you drink? Why would you drink from the fucking tap in the bathroom? What's wrong with you? Don't you do that? You're not supposed to drink from the tap yeah, in the bathroom. I mean, that's the dirty water. No, 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 no. It's, it's fine, water. it's fine. It's like two lines of water that go into your house. The clean, delicious water and the dirty, filth water. Actually, there are. And the bathroom has the dirty, filth water. Do you know what those water. two lines are? They're the um, hot water and the cold water. Because you're not supposed to drink cold water from the hot water tap because it has been previously heated. Plumbing chat with Lewis! <laughs> And is is more likely to contain bacteria and stuff like this. So our newest weekly feature, plumbing chat. Pod, Lewis talking about yes. plumbing. Well, I'm quite knowledgeable, but no, I'm not. I'm not at all. So this this isn't going to be a, a very 
regularly. Well, I could find things to talk about. Plumbing chat, if you want. But I'd I'd rather, like, Dave. I'd love that. I would love that so much. (laughs) Well, this week's plumbing tip, we might as well do it now, is don't drink cold water from the hot water tap, because it's it's more likely to have bacteria in it. Because it was heated to a... To, to a warm, balmy temperature. And also your hot water tank and don't, is more likely to be impure. And don't smear shit on yeah, the barrel do door. Don't do that. And, uh, and don't, don't kill, kill any of your family your members or anything like that. No. Uh, what else have people learned from this episode? Oh yeah, right in. You know when um, Stan Collymore... Right. Stan Collymore beat Ulrika Johnson. Now, for the people who aren't I, all over the papers. either 35 years old or British, Stan Collymore was quite a famous <laughs> footballer like 90, back in the day. 90% of our listeners are from the ago. United States, aren't they? <laughs> they don't know who no, Ulrika Johnson they don't. is. Oh, she sway. She's a, she's a she's sway who came land. to Britain and like became quite a sort of popular as a television presenter about 35 years ago <clears throat> and she's sort of you know continued having a why are you exaggerating it's not that long ago no, I think it is but yeah her boyfriend who was a footballer a very good footballer who played for Manchester United at one point uh, beat her up and I, this sounds terrible but you can't help but think good for him no no I don't no don't I don't think so Stan Collymore. If, He's a if there was any woman, Stan Collymore, if there was any it? woman that needed that needed a bit of a slap, it was Ulrika Johnson. I'm surprised he kept his and name. Stan Collymore was the man you said. Stan up. Collymore. I mean, that's the kind of name that I would associate with your old man voice, you know. Maybe that was his real I'm name Stanley. before he changed it to Dave <laughs> before, Yogpod. Before I was called Dave exclamation mark Yognor. Yognor. I was called Stanley. <laughs> Yognor. I forgot about that already. Yognor. Fuck me. That's a really. You got to remember. Got to remember. We're calling everyone who's listening to this right now. You are the Yognor. <laughs> we will have forgotten almost all of this by next week. You know that. Yeah. <laughs> by tomorrow, we'd have forgotten all. <laughs> So like, why are they calling Yog? Why are they calling each other Yognauts? What's going what on? Hell? Why are we getting these messages about Yognauts? We should have some sense. sort of um, uh, a secret sort of code. Well, no, this is something which Adam and Joe did, isn't it? They've got their oh, don't they've got copy a little code. Adam and Joe. Yeah, if you're in a crowded place and you want to determine if there are any other Yogpod listeners Yognauts. around you, you yeah, Yognauts. You have to stand up, salute. Yognauts. It sounds you like a children's up. club, doesn't it? It sounds <laughs> yeah. like something you like have to send off and get a badge Look. for. Join the Yognauts. <laughs> it's like 50 pence and you get like a certificate saying you're a Yognaut and like a, a pen. Look, look, right. If you if you want to find out if there are any anyone's around you who is also a Yognaut, as well as yourself, you stand up, you salute, and you say, I am Dave, exclamation mark, Yognaut. You stand up and, and salute. See... Why do you salute? And how is the yeah. salute executed? I, I think <laughs> I'd salute. like to be interested. <laughs> like Rimmers. You have to salute like Rimmer from Red Dwarf. Oh, what? So you raise you your this... right arm around and then spin it around as if it was some sort of wing mill. And then yes. slap it onto your forehead, basically. <laughs> yes, with an audible slap. Okay. And then you yell out, I am Dave, exclamation mark, Yognaut. And if if you hear someone do this, you you have to respond. You have to do exactly the same. <laughs> you have to just do exactly the same. You have to stand I am... up straight. <laughs> <laughs> do a salute. This is madness. This is madness. <laughs> just the thought, the thought of two people doing this. Oh my God. <laughs> Just like someone, someone doing it, and then someone else actually recognizing what it was, and then doing it in reply. <laughs> doing exactly the same thing. It's not even like a Marco Polo thing. It's a Marco Marco thing. Yeah, brilliant. Wow. If anyone, if any one of our listeners, by some whatever bizarre coincidence, ever sees anyone doing that and then does it in re- return, or if you get it done to in return. 
you have to contact us. Um, I mean, people just make no, it up. There's gonna be no way. No. Yeah. It's not gonna happen <laughs> to start with. It's well, never gonna happen. It, I just kind of like the thought of a, a socially awkward 15-year-old lad just standing up in the middle of a busy train station, saluting. <laughs> or like in assembly or something. <laughs> <laughs> I have the only exclamation mark, Yognaut. 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 Yeah, Yognaut. Sorry. Oh God. Oh, it doesn't matter. We'll get we'll get used to that. It's, it's a new concept. Yeah. It's a while. It's mind blowing, and we need to readjust our bl blown minds to this concept. Ugh, I think that's that's enough. Save this recording. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. That was very enjoyable.